Hello again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a database report. Meaning, let's say that we you have some kind of application that uh, works with uh, some database data, right? Uh, in this case, I have uh, uh, an application that uh, has some data about students and uh, some data about exams that were attended by these students. So, pretty much, if I run the application. Now we'll see what kind of data uh, are there. So let's say I have two students, uh, John Watson. He attended two exams, math and English, and these are the exam dates and grades that he got. If I select the second student, I see uh, what exams that he uh, he got, right? Uh, and uh, I have some blob field which uh, should contain uh, the image of uh, each of those students, right? So what I want is to have some kind of a summary report uh, which I can print uh, or show to someone from my, to my boss or something like that. And uh, I need to generate that kind of report. The first thing you, you need to do is to install uh, some report generator. So you, you can go here to tools and get the package manager. And uh, I will demonstrate today how to uh, generate a report using fast report. Uh, but in the past, there were uh, some other reports like quick report, wave reports, etc. So uh, you need you, you can also check those as well. Uh, but I'm not really sure uh, what is available in the community edition. Uh, in the first community edition, fast report was available. In the second community edition, I don't think so. So I I'm not really sure what is the latest uh, deal with that. So please check it out for yourself. But in this case, like I said, I'm going to show you how to generate a report using the fast report uh, VCL components. So you need to install those, and once you do, you will have uh, here fast report VCL, uh, VCL tools, and VCL exports, right? Uh, so let's generate our report. Uh, first thing you, you need to do is to add this uh, report component here, okay? And this is the main component for the report. It will be used to um, uh, design the report. The second thing is that our report will contain a uh, data from two database tables uh, or two data sets. In uh, our case, it will be a uh, data set student and a data set exam. So for each of those two tables, I need to add a uh, DB data set uh, component uh, here from fast re report set of components. So I'll add this one here. And it, uh, I will simply call it uh, student. Okay, and I will also rename it here. Uh, then I'll add, uh, I'll link that uh, component to table student. Okay, and I'll do the same for the second table exam. and I'll link that to exam. Okay, and that is the first step. The second step is to design a report. So let's just double click this uh, component here. And now we see a designer. Uh, and uh, first I'm going to add those two database tables in my report. So I'll click report here and the data. And I'll just select those two data sets that we created for a uh, fast report. Once I select it and clicked OK, now I see uh, two data sets and their uh, columns here. So I, I see what I can get from the data set student, and I see what I can get uh, from the exam table. And now we need to uh, create a report. Uh, you can create a report uh, simply by using these bands here. So I'll insert a band, for example, report title, and I will add some text here. For example, a student uh, report. Okay, and uh, I will just drag this all over, and um, I can centralize this. Uh, 
uh, a horizontal line is not flat but center okay I can also vertically align that to center. Okay, so uh, this is my um, report title, student report. The second band that I will add will contain master data. So if you look at this, uh, these two uh, data sets or tables, first one is the student, this is the master. And the second one is the exam. This is the detail table, uh, meaning that for each student, there can be more uh, um, records about their exams. So I'll add master data band. Uh, so he asked me here, okay, what is the master, uh, master data uh, data set, right? And this is the uh, master student. Okay, and now I simply need to uh, add um, text that I want to have there. So, for example, I can add here uh, first name. And uh, then I will drag uh, this field here. And I will copy paste that for the second name. and select the second name. Uh, I can also uh, do that for other fields, weight, image, etc. But uh, I will add an image here, which is a block field. So there is an image picture object here. OK. And um, I'll place it somewhere here, like this. And uh, I will say data field is Okay, image. Okay. Uh, now we can test our report or preview it uh, by clicking this button here. And as you can see, now we automatically got data for uh, our students uh, from our master table or student table. So we have two records student table uh, John uh, Watson and Eric Masters, and these are their uh, images, let's say, right? Uh, but uh, what I want is for each of those students to also have all their exams showed, right? Uh, so I will also add uh, a detailed data band. A detailed uh, table is the exam table. And uh, I can uh, add, for example, here, uh, text object. So um, variables uh, line. What should this be? This this should be line number, I believe. Uh, you can add, for example, date, time, uh, page, uh, total pages, line, etc. Uh, there are many other functions that you can use to uh, automatically generate text uh, on your report. So I'm not just I'm not going to go all over this, but uh, let's say that uh, I, I will simply add class name here uh, exam date and grade. Okay, and I'll just expand this a little bit. So if I preview this. Now you can see that I have my first student, and then I have all the records for the first student, math and English. And then I have a second student, and then I have records for the second student. But you can see a lot of uh, white space here, which can be uh, reduced by simply uh, shrinking this here, because detailed data is uh, repeated for each uh, master data record. So here. And now, as you can see, there is no, uh, there is not so much this uh, white space here. 
but I have uh, here a lot of white space and uh, here so let's see what happens there I believe that's because of the image yeah that's because of the image okay so what I can also do here is to add some kind of line so that draw a diagonal line so I'll just put a line here which will uh, visually uh, help me to uh, distinguish each student and now uh, as you can see I have the first student probably that line should be added uh, above let's add it above Okay, this is uh, much better. Now I see that this is the first student and this is the second student data, right? You can also uh, add, uh, for example, report summary and add some automatic text there, for example. Uh, now let's add something automatic, data, date. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is the today's date. Um, and I can also expand this a little bit and add a line. Not much like that. Okay. Or simply combine text. So, for example, report generated on so to have it something like this. Okay. And I believe uh, this is pretty much enough for uh, for start. Now you can see how you can generate a report. And as you can see, we haven't wrote a single line of code yet. Uh, what we can do now in the continuation is to show the report. And that's only one line of code. So I will say show report. Uh, what is the uh, name of the component? Show report. Okay, now let's run the application. Uh, report one. And if I click show report, now I get the report for all my students. But sometimes you just want a report for a single master record, not for all master records. So you can uh, do that by uh, going in a student or master data set and say uh, as you can see here range begins with first and range ends with last which means that uh, our report will uh, show uh, or generate report for every uh, master record but i can say uh, i want only a report for the current uh, uh, record so if i run this now the first uh, master record is selected, John Watson. Uh, if I click show report, as you can see now, I only got the report for John Watson, right? If I uh, select the second um, student, now I only got the report for the second student, right? And uh, that's pretty much how it is. I don't believe it's hard. Uh, as you can see, you pretty much uh, just uh, play with the components, uh, design a little bit, and uh, showing the report is just one line of code. So uh, I believe everyone uh, should be able to do it pretty easily. Well, like always, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free, uh, feel free to contact me. Thank you.